name is Cindy Barber, and I'm the Director of Alumni Engagement here at Lyon. I'm also a proud graduate of the class of 85. One of the things that I love about my role here at the college is pretty much every day, I get to see how the connections that you make while you're a student here can and will last the rest of your life. Some of the things that help tie us all together are traditions. Hello, my name is Ansuela Engton, and I currently serve as the Director of Student Activities here at Lyon College. Most people know me as Sway, so feel free to call me that. Hi, my name is Kenton Adler, and I'm the Director of Advancement Services and Research here at Lyon College. I also play bagpipes in the Lyon College Pipe Band. Hello, Dr. Jennifer Daniels here. I teach in the Psychology Department and I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about traditions. Traditions are an important part of group cohesion and they're actually a part of, of our culture. So for example, if you think about uh, your uh, winter holidays, you probably always have a certain thing that you eat on those days or on New Year's Day or whatever. Oftentimes those traditions are something that signal the, not just the, that that particular family or that particular group in that moment, but it is a reflection of so many generations of that family and so many generations of that group that have come before. And so it's not just a horizontal connection, it's also sort of a, um, a vertical connection through time. So we have that here at Lyon. That's, that's one of the reasons that I love this place so very much, not just because I love things like Scotland and bagpipes and um, beautiful buildings and small classes. There is a lot of history here. Our Scottish heritage runs deep. Um, the Presbyterian Church was um, the Church of Scotland and so we uh, honor our Scottish traditions in a number of ways and a pipe band's a real big part of that. Uh, we have not always been the Scots here at Lyon College. Back in the uh, 1920s they were known as the Lambs. Uh, we've also been the Panthers for a while, uh, we were the Highlanders for a bit, and for a while the women's uh, athletic teams were known as the Pipers, but still had that Scottish connection. Uh, the pipe band itself has only been around since about the early 1980s. If you go back through some of the old annuals, you can find pictures of people playing the bagpipes back in the 30s and 40s. And uh, we've always had uh, um, various organizations like the Lassies, who were associated with the choir, and the Lads, who uh, dressed in kind of Scottish themed attire. Uh, we had a women's crossbow team that wore Scottish attire. But the band, um, as I said, we've been here since the early part of the 80s and uh, we played continuously for many, many, many of the Lyon College uh, convocations and various other celebrations that we do here on campus. Bagpiping by its very nature is steeped in tradition and one of the traditions here at Lyon College with regard to the pipe band is that we wear this very distinct Lyon College tartan kilt. Now granted, because of the current circumstance, we may not be able to pull these off as we would traditionally do every year, but we are committed to making sure your experience here is just as, if not more fun than normal. So the first one I wanna to mention to you guys is part of our Weeks of Welcome programs. We spend the first two weeks of campus trying to make sure that all of our students are acclimated to campus, getting engaged with one another, and having a lot of fun. So one of the things that we do during this time is called our freshman group photo. This photo is used throughout different publications, and it's also something really awesome for you to look at as you progress on through your Lyon College career and take a look at also when you become a senior. For over 30 years, the campus community has gathered to enjoy our annual raft race. New students build rafts out of cardboard and duct tape and then race these across Bryan Lake. And yes, there is cheering, lots of laughter, boats collapsing, and people falling into the water, and it's lots of fun. The winners, or the people who survive across the lake, <laughs> actually are immortalized with their names engraved on a paddle plaque that hangs in Ed's Common. We wish from the bottom of our heart that you could be here to do your raft race. 
there is a lot of history here and so, and I want you to be a part of it. And the, one of the very first things that you get to do as part of these traditions is to matriculate. All right, let me set this up for you just a little bit. So when you first get here, you're going to matriculate. And you're like, okay, what the hey does that mean? It essentially means that you are in our club, All right? Remember Finding Nemo? Kid, we want you in our club. Well, we do. You picked us, we picked you, let's make it official. And that matriculation is sort of your formal entrance into the lion community. And ordinarily what happens during matriculation is that the entire freshman class lines up outside um, and then the pipe band leads the way and we march you around the front of Brown Chapel, which is the lovely building inside which we are standing right now in the Sloan Auditorium. And uh, the pipe band leads the entire class in, followed by the faculty and all their regalia and then the various uh, uh, people get up and speak, the deans and the president and everyone gets up and says their piece and uh, everybody signs the honor code. So here's one of the things about matriculation that, um, you know, when you, in a normal year, when we're all together in the same space, you're focused on, you know, yourself, your parents and, and writing in the role of honor and, and there's all of these, what are, what are you doing? But, if you look at the faces of the faculty and staff, we have this look on our face like, if you've ever taken a friend to go see your favorite movie and there's this part coming up that you think is so cool and instead of watching the movie, you're watching their face just to sort of see like, okay, is it hitting you? Are you getting it? Because this is such a good part. You have to really watch this. That's how we feel, the faculty and staff here at Lyon College during matriculation because we know what's coming. We have seen generations and generations of students come through and so we're excited because we know what's what's going to happen for you in the next uh, four years of your life here at Lyon College. And so that's sort of the first thing that, that happens formally. It is a bookend or even a mirror of what happens at commencement, right? Commencement is a going away. Commencement is an exiting. Once you get to commencement, you understand the importance of matriculation because you can look back at those four years of new content areas, failures, rejections, rising from the ashes like a phoenix, and finding your purpose, or the, the, at least the threads of your life's purpose at the end of that time. And then you go off sort of uh, and go change the world in some way that's right for you. For the graduating class, we um, march in that left-hand door to Brown Chapel, just the opposite of what we did when you came in during matriculation. And then at the end of the baccalaureate ceremony, we march up the stairs of the stage and everybody follows us up and they open up the back and the back doors and we march out the back of Brown Chapel and over to Bryan Lake for the torch lighting ceremony where everybody passes the torch onto their classmate all the way around the lake. You'll hear pipes right at the beginning of your lion career and you'll hear the lone piper right at the end of your lion career and it's a very, very emotional and effective way to uh, end your career here at Lion and send you out into the great wide world. Now part of that, and I know there are some faculty that might like to keep this a little bit of a secret, but I kind of can't even, and if you're a crier like I am, you should probably know about this. One of the reasons that I'm at Lion is because of the relationships that we can get here, and you're probably gonna hear 100 people talk about that. We're not lying. There's no lying. And so when you exit our physical community during commencement, we're sad because we're, we're, we're left behind. And so your physical leaving is, is really quite devastating to us. We're proud of you, but we're also sad because you won't be in our office every day or coming by for candy or, or celebrating when you get a really good score on that GRE or land that job or whatever it is. And so sort of the last thing, and I think I can talk about this without crying, we'll see, um, is something called the gauntlet. And that means at the end of the, of the commencement ceremonies, we leave the space, whether it's the auditorium or if it's outside somewhere, first. And we, we the faculty, line the sidewalk and we wait for you to walk by. 
we're sort of the first people to see you as Lion alums, right? Those looks of anticipation that we had at, at matriculation, they're not quite I told you so's, but they're definitely like, look, you see, I told you you could do it. You will always be able to tell me because I am a literal mess, um, just crying, sobbing, partially because I'm just so proud because we did this together, right? You put the work in, but this team, this community, we put all this together and, and you're just gonna go out and you're gonna change the world the most amazing way. Chapel Walk is an event that is a part of our Greek community and it's where the entire Lion community welcomes the new members of the fraternities and sororities we have on campus. This is a campus-wide event and it is a big celebration and of course we invite you all to participate in that um, and hopefully join one of those organizations should that float your boat. The third thing I want to mention to you guys is a part of our homecoming and family weekend celebrations. It's one of my favorite weekends of the year. We are able to invite back alumni, parents, family, and friends, and we have fun all weekend. We have a new tradition where we are trying to um, welcome our families back to campus and ensure that you guys are having a great time on Tailgate Alley right before the big football game. We set up a huge tent in the area between the library and the gym and we call it Tailgate Alley. So just think food, music, reunions, fun, it's a good time and then we all go out and cheer on the Scots. So we have games laid out, we have the band, we have cheerleaders, we have a bunch of spirit wear um, and spirit activities. We also announce the homecoming court and so we invite you guys to come out early, eat some really good food and then make your way over to the football game where we love to celebrate the Scots win. We celebrate our alumni. And remember, you're going to be a Lyon College alum in just a few years. We have um, all alumni gathering, we have young alumni mixer, and we even celebrate the Club 50, which is our alumni who graduated 50 years or more ago. Every October, the campus community gathers in our beautiful Brown Chapel to celebrate Founders Day. It's like a birthday party for the college. The seniors get to process in wearing their regalia for the very first time. It's very exciting. The president announces Mr. and Ms. Lyon College. They announce the Greek organization that won the president's cup. The pipe band plays. There's always an interesting speaker and it's a very special day. In 2022, Lyon College is going to be celebrating its sesquicentennial. We will celebrate 150 years from our founding. You're going to be here for that occasion, and I think it will probably be one of the biggest birthday parties we've had. One thing I wanted to remind everybody of is that tradition is a dynamic thing. It's almost like a living organism and that evolves over time and many of you are going to come in here and establish your own traditions and in some point 50 years down the road somebody's going to look back and go oh we've always done it that way and in fact nobody did it until you did it so welcome to lion college and let's create tradition i hope you can see from just these examples how it's true that once you're a scot you're forever a scot and you have a family that stretches around the world and that is really here to support you throughout your life. We can't wait to see you in person. We're looking forward to you being back on campus. We'll see you soon and go Scots go. There are so many different programs that we have here available for you, but if there's anything that you want to do that we are not currently doing, please feel free to stop by my office at any point in time and have that conversation with me. We look forward to getting you guys involved. I've always said since I've been here that nobody ever really leaves Lyon, you know? Um, I mean, you leave, you do finish, you do graduate and all that kind of stuff, but 
Uh, a community is not set by the physical boundaries of the place, just like a family isn't. And I think that's really true here um, at Lyon as well. So traditions, they're good and we have them. <laughs>